Hey, what's up, guys? Uh, Montre here. And I'm going to be doing a reaction video. Um, I like scary videos, don't you? It's Halloween time. Um, for those that are my friends, if you ever come to my place, all I do is watch scary paranormal videos. I love them. So I found this one. Haven't watched it yet. So blind reaction, I guess. Is that what they call it? All right. So let's take a look at this video. Looks like it was on the news. Honolulu Police Department's Training Academy in Waipahu Haunted? Well, some say it is. Yeah, on this Halloween night, the department has allowed us to share another video, the unexplained paranormal experiences of a former security guard. Mm. During the day, it's a pretty busy place with all the officers, training staff, and recruits on campus. But once the sun goes oh. down, oh, this place is totally different. It's dark, no traffic, no pedestrians, Nothing. And that's when strange things start to happen. That's why I hate coming <laughs> here at night. He's already scared. He's like, I hate coming here at night. <laughs> I hate it. You know, it's creepy. I used to work at overnight at a place and it was, stuff would happen. So I get it. But believe it or not, HPD has overnight security guards to keep an eye on this place. One of them is a friend of mine named Tony. Well, one night, as he was doing his building checks, he heard a sound like wood clanking together. Now, no one was supposed to be here that night, so he went to go check it out. As he passed the K-9 building, he could hear the dogs going nuts in the kennels, running around, barking. If the dogs start acting crazy, something's up. Like, my dogs would do stuff, like look in corners and stuff, and I'd be like, what are you staring at? Taking a food dishes, so he knew he wasn't the only one who could hear it. When he got near the SWAT house, the noise got louder and louder. As he looked at the building, he noticed that all the wooden shutters were opening and closing repeatedly. But there was no one standing next to the windows working the shutters. What's more, it was a windless night, so the wind wasn't blowing the shutters either. Tony took a few steps closer to the SWAT house, and all at once, the shutters stopped moving. It was dead quiet. Nope. <laughs> I would have been out of there. Even the dogs stopped barking. Tony slowly walked towards the SWAT house, peeked in through the window, and said, Hello? Is anyone here? But no one answered, and the building was empty. But wait. Tony's story doesn't end there. A couple of nights later, Tony was doing his regular routine, closing the front gate, making sure it was secured, and doing his checks around the property. Everything seemed normal, and of course, he was the only one at the academy, so he decided to sit down in the breezeway to pass the time. But as he stared out into the parking lot, he noticed an old lady, dressed in white, walking towards him. At first, he thought the lady may have been lost or needed help. So Tony waved at her to get her attention. But she didn't respond and kept walking toward him. And that's when you walk away. Because <laughs> you would just say, I'm not going to be walking slow toward me and think I'm just going to sit there. The funny thing crossed his mind. He didn't hear the gate open. So how did she get in? As Tony stood up to ask the old lady, she disappeared. Tony thought, Oh, no, not again. But this time, he decided he better call his supervisor. I uh, know, Tony, you need to find a new job. <clears throat> you need to tell your supervisor, I'm out of here. You got ghosts. So he turned, and guess who's standing there? Yep, the ah. lady in white. And guess what? She starts slowly walking towards him, eyes fixed and staring at him. By now, Tony is freaking out. He's so scared. He can't move. He's frozen. She's so close to him that he notices that her face looks angry. He tries to yell or scream. Nothing comes out. Then whoosh. She disappears again. Tony let out a sigh of relief and slowly looked around. But this time, no one was there. He sat back down to gather his thoughts. 
He couldn't believe that the ghost appeared twice and was coming after him. Tony was about to stand up and call his supervisor when guess who decides the lady to in show white? up? Yep, the old lady was back and this time she was sitting right across from him. This was too much for Tony to handle. He sprang up and broke That's too much? What about the first time? You should. Her walking up would have been too much. I would have left then. The heck out of there. See? Tony should have taken my advice the first time. And none of this would have happened. <laughs> okay, guys. That's a cute little story. What do you guys think? You think that's just a fake story? Do you think it's real? I know the video is just a reenactment, but... I mean, it sounds like a really scary story. It would have been great. I'm going to try to see if I can find some more stuff. If, let me know if you like these reaction videos. I think I, I love ghost stories. It's a little spooky. Hope you guys can sleep at night knowing about the lady in white. <laughs> Leave me a comment below and like this video. And be sure to uh, let me know if you think that video or that story is real. Okay, guys? Make your reality happen. Because if you don't do it, then who? I'll talk to you guys later. Peace out.